I was like, once everyone has to like here. Yeah. I get mid caps. Gotta protect the caps. What's wrong with the ankle socks? Nothing. I don't like I'm ankle wearing socks them, Johnny. <laughs> sort of. Alrighty, so we got the ice timer ditto. Um, oh sh. All um, I really know about this ditto is that back throw is really good. And um, there's a lot of down smashing. It, it may it may look like just spamming down smash, but there's actually a lot of intricate uh, like setups. I think it's a question of um, the movement and like if you're moving with a wave dash forward, all you I, get caught. All I know is going aerial is is only good against like um, going aerial against down smash is like the best best bet. Aw, oh, Brog. Didn't get a hit on the ices. I'm not sure if... <laughs> I like how you're talking about the intricacies. Like, intricacies. Yeah, Brian and definitely Brian just, just spammed like, uh, 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 down smash and missed Nana like three times. But, you know, he's gotta, he's gotta kill the girl. So, you know, I mean, it's reasonable. Brian's gotta be the villain. He's gotta kill the girl. Make the guy watch. All right, so what I'm seeing right now is that uh, it looks like whoever has the bottom platform, whoever has bottom stage, just wins. Yeah, whoever has the ground, like ground control, is really in a good position. But what I see mostly of is that down smash. Nino is kind of mixing up his like his movement and like what options he's using in neutral. Like if he's gonna blizzard or wave dash uh, smash attack. He sometimes went past. And Brian the is kind of fishing for more grabs. He's trying to abuse the back throw that knocks uh, Nana away. I saw Nino sometimes just wave dashing through Brian. Oh. Diz is a legend. Oh, not double hit. The face. See what he needs to be doing there. Oh no, uh, is that a Nana kill? Oh my. He needs to he needs to do the desync where like he has um, Nana doing a, charging a smash attack while he. Nana charges the smash attack over the, like, above, and then you just cover the ledge, or grab on stage. Brian won't be dropping this. Yeah, this is a uh, wobbling through Paul's master. That's why he just paws on grab. <laughs> Shout out to this kid rolling through fight pit. Yeah, this guy, amazing run of fight pit. Jesus Christ. Whew. Forward smashes all day. Definitely just smash attacked him like seven times. I think this is reminiscent of Falcon Ices, but instead of doing aerials that are safe on shield, you're See, just doing smash attacks. I, I like that Nino's going for the edge guard, but he needs to do it better. Like, charge Nana up smash and cover everything else. That's that's what I've seen Nintendo and Diz do. Yeah, the really thing about the back throw is, is if you don't hit Popo or you don't throw Popo oh. away, it's really, it leaves yourself really vulnerable. Jeez. You know, <laughs> we talking before, no, it was Eric before, Eric was talking about how he loves seeing Icy's desync and the character in the middle just getting gangbanged from both sides. Yeah. That was what was happening with Brog and his Nana. They were in the middle, Nana was like doing a forward tilt, Nina was forward smashing, couldn't get out. Alright, so, uh... Brog's stuck in a... Ryan definitely just quit out after his Nana died, so he didn't really have faith that he was going to be able to bring that back. I expect Brian to go Peach. Green Peach? Yep. Yep. He needs to win. He's not winning the Ditto. He gets that W. Battlefield counter pick? Um, I think the platform height is like perfect for Peach on this stage. She can easily evade like any kind of like Im approaching aerials. Oh wow! I don't know. He if that... shoved him to the left. I don't know. No, because he rolled. He, he ro rolls and goes to the edge perfectly because Brian was already getting up. Like he was already up. Yeah. So it pushes him because the rolls prioritized. Nino is looking really good right now. Try to catch the uh, turnips midair. Oh mid wow! He, pretty sure that was a turnip pool. Oh, that hammer. That was not a good down smash. 
Are we going to see a Mita King head shake after this? Mm. I don't know if that was an intentional bait with the Nana because she Ryan's going to get camp pick with Puff? Probably. He might just go Sheik. I, I don't know what happened in normal set. This is best of five. This is not best of five. This oh, is two out of Semi got Eric's ahead. He's waiting. Yeah. He's waiting to see which ICs he has to play. <laughs> <laughs> the ICs have been getting top three at most tournaments in region so far. In our region? Yeah. Yeah. Nino got Nino got second yesterday. Nino's Brian, good and Brian got consistent. third. Brian got third at event match. I wonder what the Westchester results are gonna look like. Oh, if really good turn up pressure. I feel like Nino doing real good. Not as consistent, but doing real good in the last few weeks. Yeah, Nino's can, like can, not consistency, but his run for the for the past two lives have been very impressive. He's Brian. A, Always consistent. Always consistent. Top three placer at most tournaments so far. At the beginning of the season. Wait, who caught it? Oh, I thought Nana caught it. Stitch. Wow, he way dashed right into the down smash. So, like, that's a thing that I learned from, um... I'm pretty sure I heard Kalamazoo talking about it at, like... Not Pound. What, what tournament was Kalamazoo at? That Apex. So, like... He was, like, talking about, like... If you read an Ice Climber's like perch with like a wave dash grab, you can just down smash preemptively and it will just completely destroy their grab and just suck them up and uh, separate them. Oh, like as they come in? Yeah. It's a really good anti perch. Instead of going into the air, you can just stay on the ground. Because that first hit always comes to the forward and it just scoops them. So if you time it right, nothing to do. So this is a way, way more slower pace match. Ooh. Nana! <laughs> Dude, what, I Nana. Think, what I think I'm seeing here is that uh, Nino was doing really good at playing the aggress aggressive game, but like Brian has like severely adapted to playing like more of a Wally style. Instead of trying to approach Nino, he's kind of just waiting for him to um, it's no either get himself in the corner or leave himself open for like a down smash or like a fair on shield. Yeah, right there. Nino, Nino yeah. made himself way too exposed. There. Ooh. Oh! So he goes for the down, down smash instead of the grab. D-Sinks. Yeah, the D-Sinks. But Brian is a nice commerce player. He knows he knows to wait out for the... Uh... Saves Nana. This is huge. That was a good save, too. He got the side B one. The up B could have been punished. Oh, um, if he gets hit. another hard up air, that would definitely kill. Double hit or... A strong back here. Oh, oh that was so good. Tips. I didn't know where he was going because Nana was like staying still. He like desynced her somehow. Hey, he just down smashed you. Uh, Nino's definitely trying to hit Brian with the uh, Brian Rogers special. Oh. Yo, this is close. That's a bad bear. That was not an auto cancel bear. He's opening the hand. Yeah, he gives up. Wow. 2 0 by Nino. Very impressive. So now we have Nino Eric? versus Eric. That's a run back too. This is a run back. Nino took a game. Yeah. 